Yo, what's going on guys? DJ has here, collectivekicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys a video today and by your guys' request, you guys know I like to uncage things and I feel like you guys really wanted me to do this, so I'm doing this for you guys. I got a lot of comments in a lot of other videos saying, please do this, so I'm doing this. And also I did see a picture on Instagram. A lot of people tagged me when the uh, first images dropped. Shout out to you guys that tagged me in that. But basically they cut this off except for down to this little area down here. And so it looked just like basically like this much left. And then they used these holes for lace holes and made it look kind of like an NMD the way they laced it. It was pretty fresh looking, but I'm not going to do that in this one. I'm just going to actually just completely remove it down and around like this. And then on the inside down and around like this so I can keep that Nike logo right here and have a little bit of support on the sides right here. Um, a lot of people wonder why I like to do this. It's fun to um, to just try something different. And if people want to see what they look like with the um, like NMDs, I was going to say, the these sock darts, like it's kind of a fun concept because it just makes it a little bit more relaxed. Yes, it's not a pair that I'd be running in or anything like that. It's just kind of a fun concept. But if you guys like the video, hit the thumbs up button. The only thing that you will need is this device right here, the Fiskars thing. And I got this from Angelus Direct. Go to the website and shop around. You can buy this there. They have tons of, of custom stuff uh, from paints and like like everything you can think of custom related. I can literally spend an hour on the site. Super fun shopping around there. So check that site out. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this for you guys. If you guys want to buy some sock darts, the hype on these things really fell quite a bit. So you can get these at retail uh, or cheaper. And I'll link uh, some places in the description for these as well. But let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to remove the cage. And then at the end of the video, I'll show you guys what they look like on feet. All right, so here's the results of the first one right here. As you can see, it looks pretty, uh, there's a little lint right there. It looks pretty good without the uh, the cage. I have to say, I kind of like it. And that is the first one. You can definitely clean this up with a little bit of uh, sandpaper or something like that from what you guys mentioned. If you guys missed it, just throwing this out there, I did this already on the Prestos, uh, on the regular Prestos as well as these ones right here to give them the, the City Sock look. Uh, on those but let's go ahead and go and do the other one all right so here we have it the final results on both pairs i actually really like the way they look it's kind of fun because i have multiple pairs of sock darts so if i want to cut the cages off one and have it have just a little bit of a different look from the other pairs i can do that and uh, yeah, this, this is what it looks like without the stuff. So my foot will definitely fill out the void there. But uh, pretty clean and this is a triple black colorway. Again, retail is about 130 on these. Really easy to get and fun to be able to change it up a little bit. You can um, use some sandpaper though on this area and make this even better. Um, I just haven't had time to do that yet. But uh, leave a comment, let me know what you guys think overall of the sock darts without the cage. And thumbs up to you guys out there that actually um, recommended this because I wouldn't have done it without you guys even suggesting it. I know some of you guys would have probably preferred to see this left on, but I didn't want to do that uh, for this one. Um, one thing to note when you are cutting the cage off, you got to be really, really careful. Be like, it's a, it is a knife. This is really dangerous and you can cut yourself pretty bad if you don't take your time. You definitely want to just put some pressure on this and then pull this material downward so it exposes the parts that you need to be able to do that. <clears throat> and then again, this just needs to be cleaned up. But you gotta just be really careful because it is a knife and, and um, goes slow and steady. It's definitely not a race to get it done. Uh, but that is this. I'll go ahead and show you guys what they look like on feet. Again, if you guys like the video, show your supports at the very least if you guys would and hit the thumbs up button and we'll catch you guys with some more videos soon. Peace.